bitch. <sighs> I'm out here looking like I just came in from Planet Cunt, okay? But not only do I look like I just came in from Planet Cunt, I look quite staunchy and rough at the same time. I look cunt, but I also look rugged. Not rugged, sexy, like rugged, like... Damn. Damn. Look what the fucking, you know... Look what the cat dragged in, bitch. Okay. Look at what the cat dragged in. Yes, the cat did drag me in, but I'm sick and tired of y'all. Okay, I'm sorry. The cat did drag me in, but honey, I'm still the scratch. You get it? I'm still the catch. See, this is the problem, is that let me tell you something. I've been doing my makeup for... I do my makeup throughout the day. Yes. You know what? I'm using Juvia's Place. I'm not going to gatekeep anything, but... Let's just make it clear. Please do not expect me to pick up every single product. We're going to be beginning this YouTube relationship. I love you. And the products will be in the description below. No shade. No shade. You know, there has to be a different way because, honey, um, I'm just not going to show y'all my dirty ass fucking blush. Look at how disgusting that is. Look at that. Look at how what I look like. This is from Mented. It looks rough. See, anyway, happy Easter. Happy Easter. God bless you all. God bless you all. Can you believe that I go out in public like this? You know, I go out in public like this every day. Every day, not every day am I like this heavily abused in the face, you know, like beat, you know, I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to take it from being beat to being abused. I don't know if that, if that switch is going to be, um, <laughs> yes, abuse this face. I don't know. I don't know if we're, I don't know if people are going to really stand behind that, you know, but, uh, and then. I do not know why I be running through. I do know why I be running through the Charlotte Tilbury, but um, that's because it's good. It's good. Yes, bitch, that face is abused. Yeah. That face is beat. I don't know. I don't know. See, I be running through this fucking shit, and honestly, I don't need to use this much Charlotte. Do not use this much Charlotte Tilbury on your face. It's a great product, but don't do, don't do it like me. And also, don't do me, okay? But back to that later. Um, the Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury, look at that. It got wings on it. That's nice. That's the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. One thing I do love about setting spray is that it don't matter how much you put on but don't be like me don't be like me um and also let me tell you something dean and to all my fellow prostitutas not a real prostituta pero una you know a significa prostituta in your own mind right um it don't matter. If you just happen to walk into a room and and people gag, that's because don't worry about if they're gagging, if it's if the if it's fierce or if they don't it don't matter what people think about you. Just know that when you arrive, motherfuckers the, the energy shifts and that is the point okay 
the energy shifts. I, I need you to get it together. Okay, guys, so... Um, I feel staunchy because I have been struggling with relapse. And I feel staunchy about that because... Staunchy is a word that I created. Somebody that just looks disgruntled, maybe hot in their shirt, maybe uh, a little bit rough. Like, ooh, she looks staunchy. You know, like a little bit rough. She could just look like she has gas, or she just looks like she hasn't slept. Anything that is just not at 100% of, you know, like incredible and in any region. It's just, it's like an adjective. Staunchy means like, it's a unique way of saying uncomfortable. But, you know, like when somebody's walking up the stairs at the MTA and they just look so, they just look, oh, oh, bitch, you look staunchy as fuck, you know? And you can also look staunchy in your clothes. Like right now, I feel a little staunchy. I do. I'm, I need some sleep. And also, can you believe that I might go out? I might go out. I haven't been out since like... I don't know. I haven't been out. Well, I have been out, but not with the gays. The gays have a lot of opinions, and I am... The gays have a lot... I've been out in the world, you know. Con la, violen con la violencia. Okay, the violence. The violence, honey. I live in East Harlem. I would like to put this here. But if my camera falls, because I've been holding my camera. And it is. God. You know, God. I don't know, I bind and rebuke that thought in the name of Jesus. So I've been having these like, don't fall. I've been having like these, there we go. Don't fall, please don't fall. Cause then, let me see. All right. That was easy. That was easy. All right, uh, I've been having like some intrusive thoughts and um, and I am not like, not like so, this is, listen, this channel is makeup, mental, mental wellness, you know, like it's, we're going to be doing a lot of things here, but most of all, you're just going to be watching me become gorgeous while I, you know, while I enthuse and entertain um, with my charisma and my, um, and my homosexuality. Welcome to Homo 101, um, with Dean Moda. Bam. All right, so I've already used enough Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, and how I show up with my face already done. I ain't even tell y'all what primer I did. Listen, this was the beat for today. Um, I feel staunchy, as I was saying earlier, because I, because I've been struggling, I've been struggling with, with relapse, and I have been not only struggling, I have been, um, I've been wasting my, I've been wasting time, I've been wasting time, I've been getting rejected, I have been, I have been feeling disappointed, offended, ashamed, like a whole cycle of negative uh, feelings. And it's not due to it. I want to sit down and talk to you guys, but right now is not the right time for me to really kung pao on the situation and uh, give you guys the full on elaborated tea. You know what I mean? And, but for right now, all you have to know is that God is good, God has always been good, and God will continue to be good, and, uh, and 
I am grateful that I don't have a worry. Really, the complexity of all of the issues that everybody has, it's really not that complex. I don't think it's that complex. I think it is, I th for me personally, I think it is I, I, when I allow God to do it, oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I couldn't do, I couldn't do it better. But that's when I allow, you know, and, and I allow God to do basically everything and except for when I take my, when I relapse, that's me going against the grain. That's me going against the grain. And, and I, I really, so I've been struggling with relapse. If you know anybody that could throw me some relapse prevention tips, I would accept the support. I am, I feel like I'm in between sponsors, but then again, you know what happens? I'll be honest with you. I feel so ashamed. Like when I relapse, I just, so it, I just, it's like in my mind that a sponsor is just gonna be like upset with me. So I wind up not calling because I feel like, oh my God, I'm supposed to be doing this perfectly recovery. And you know, this person is working with me out of the generosity of their, of their heart. And you know, so that's my own shit. That don't that that has nothing to do, because I bet you if I literally hang up this camera and go call my sponsor right now, which I should do, I should just call them. Anyway, so um, the blush that I have on today is a mixture of this Mensed Cosmetics. This one is called Clay Too Much. I love that. Uh, it's a mixture of clay too much and what is the orange one? Where that orange blush I does use? Here we go. Peach for the stars. Clearly, I have, uh, you know, amongst, uh, you know, amongst. I need to be in recovery for blush because the way that I uh, simply just like. First of all, what nerve do I have? To be walking down the, to be walking down the street, a big tall black man with a full it's not no light little sometimes it's a light little but you know what nerve do I I must have some nerve that I don't even understand uh anyway. So, yeah, so that's what's been going on with me. I've been struggling with re with relapse. I have been uh, I have been um whilst in a beautiful, lovely, luxurious and calm and uh really stressless environment, I have been introducing stress to my own experience by seeking to be I never use drugs in my house glory be to God glory be to God I never do any drugs if I relapse I always leave my home I I refuse I refuse to tarnish my home there has to be a place where your in my opinion, you have to have one place that is between, that's clean. One, one area, one, one barricade, barrier, at least something because that is, I cannot lose, I can't lose my, this is, if nothing else, there's like a pyramid of well-being. I don't know if you've ever seen the pyramid of well-being. Bitch, you know what's on top? Shelter. Shelter then, a person who has shelter then, they could worry about anything else. You know, so, like, this is my jewelry box. You know, I just call it a little jewelry box. You know, and nobody is allowed in it. And I refuse to... Um, create an unsafe situation for myself or my neighbors. 
I will not do that. Um, so, with that being said, uh, when I relapse, that's the only time that I am literally um, going against the grain and saying, oh, oh, you had something planned for me tonight? Well, I'm going to go do this. You know what I mean? And that's horrible. And I repent and I'm very um, apologetic, not only to myself, but to God. Because, you know, there could be some nights, I, who knows, but I know this, that uh, because I have shelter and I have untarnished shelter, I have untarnished safe space, very cunt living situation shelter that I refuse to damage, tarnish, or to uh, create a... Listen, I don't give a fuck if I am coming home and, and listen, you need a safe space. Oh, you need a safe space. And because I have a safe space, I have the ability to work on everything else. I have the ability to work on everything else and that is that's the leg that I stand on it really is you know what a blessing if you have a shelter that you like you don't tarnish it you know what I mean like I, I don't I can't tell you what to do let me tell you something honey I can't to tell you all your roaches what to do, but I'm just joking. Some people are like, how did he know I had roaches? Because I know. I know. I know you got roaches. I, not, I got not a roach. Except the other day I did see one girl, and honestly, I was like, oh, me? This too? You know? But, yeah, I killed Betsy, and literally, because that's, that's why you got to use some diatomaceous earth on them hoes. I got diatomaceous earth. If you don't know what that is, just Google it. Diatomaceous earth. Oh, honey. This is not where they want to be. And this is also a space that I can be free to, to explore me and dive deep into what God... It, I need a classroom that God can teach me in. I know outside is a classroom, but like this is genuinely, I feel like I'm in the classroom between God and I, you know, because God lives here as well. God lives here. And, um, it's imperative that Anyway, so I move on. So yes, I don't use drugs in my house. Anyway, so, um, because, but well, you know why. You know why. Why do you use drugs in your house? No shade. Okay. Should this be the biblioteca? Who knows? Um, if you can't read yourself, how in the hell are you going to read somebody else? Right? So, but, so I'll always leave my home and put myself in a pretty unsafe, uncomfortable, and unfamiliar situation. All the uns, you know? And then I come home and I'm just, I am just filled with, I'm just filled with terror. Not filled with terror, like this is my safe space, but I'm just, I come home and I am just uncomfortable. That's the right word. I'm uncomfortable. Because, not because my outside space is uncomfortable, but because I have now, I have now made my inner space uncomfortable. You know? So, that's really what I am. I need to develop. That's really what it is, is that I, I am working on developing a comfortable space in my mind. And... A mind is a beautiful place, and it's
it's our mind is a beautiful place it's unusual it literally never would I have thought that uh, I would be experiencing relapse you know like now but you know what it's a miracle that I am alive and it's a it's a miracle that um, God has God has chosen me and that God loves me and that you really can't get to me if you don't go through God I'm very grateful glory be to God I am very grateful that um, I, I am so disappointed in myself but let me tell you something my disappointment literally lasts for about a day and a half if that because I am a black man I'm strong I'm I am I'm literally I'm literally I don't, you know what? I need help. That's really what it is. I need help. I, I, I can't pretend like, like I don't know myself, you know, and I've been relapsing and I know for, a, I don't know for, I don't want to, but I, I really know. You know, one thing I do know is that I need, I need, like I need assistance doing this. You know, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. I've been to rehab twice. You know, I went there for once for 20, 21 days and then I went for a week. Who goes to rehab for a week? I don't know. Who am I, Madonna? You know, I came back like, yes, girl. Huh. You didn't know? You didn't know, Miss Thing? Honey, yes. Ah, oh, as clean as the wind blows. Girl, I had a relapse. Okay. You know, so that didn't work, but you know what is working? I tell you this. I don't know. I don't know if you are in communication with the creator of the universe and everything in it, but it's a great, it's a great contact. It's a great, it's a, not only is it a great contact, it's a great thing. It's a great feeling you know it's like a quiet knowing you know how gorgeous am I how gorgeous am I are you feeling the stash are you feeling the stash I don't know if I'm feeling it it's a little too let me 